So, the last couple, the defending champions. Remember these two, the two-time European and world champions. They were beaten in the Grand Prix final by Virtue and Moya. What can they do here? It is, of course, Gabriela Papadakis and Guillaume Cizeron from France. start breathing flowing effortless superb choreography on the twizzles Excellent, powerful depth of edge throughout the circular step sequence. glorious transitions. Breathtaking stuff. Well, words fail me. It is quite incredible. 
just a, a masterpiece of a program and uh, they performed it flawlessly. I couldn't see any mistakes in there at all. And it's all going to come down to the grade of execution because uh, on paper, the base value of the Italians program and the program from Gabriella and Guillem is identical. So it depends what the judges do with it. Will they go up with a GOE on the elements? It looks like they're going to. Look, a couple of points there. Will that be enough? They could win this, you know. They're in third at the moment. That was uh, miles ahead of anything we've seen today. And in terms of its quality, its innovation, the detail of the lifts, the complimentary choreography where he's going one way she's going the other and then it seamlessly flows back together again throughout the entire routine there wasn't a moment in it that wasn't quite extraordinary and beautifully designed and executed compared to the other skaters without disrespect to them it really was much much higher in terms of its quality for me technically as well as the way it was performed if you looked at each of the lifts and the way they were done, it was super. The exits to the lifts as well, the flow and the attitude. Here's the twizzles. So within those twizzles, there was detailed choreography that fitted the nuances of the music whilst doing extremely difficult edges and turns. So he's doing something totally different to her, and yet it comes back and balances. Again and again, that was the theme. Coming out of the combination spin was a joy. Here's one of the lifts. The balance point, not that difficult in that lift. But the flow in and out, super. Borova Soloviev, too, did some super lifts. And their flow was better than I've seen it before, so it's a good standard here, but this was fabulous. Yeah, I could watch them skate all day, just love them. And to design something where the uh, it is one person going one way and the other person going the other on ice, it's so complex and you have to have a wonderful skating ability to start off with and this empathy for each other and then you can work with it. Well, it's not been a flawless season for them so far this year. Second in the NHK Trophy. As I said before, runners-up in the, the Grand Prix final. But they did make mistakes there. This was uh, by far and away a better performance. And that is a good score, 114.19. It's very, very close, but I think they've done enough. That technical score is going to do it for them, 56.87. That's at least a couple of points better than the Italians. It's first place for Gabriella and Guillem. They do hang on to the title. It's three in a row for Papadakis and Cesaron. Fantastic. And I think that's the right result. They skated enough to win it. I don't know what was said there, but it was almost a, to Guillem believe. Believe. Yeah, they must.